All right, welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna open up some more 2022 Topps Chromes packs. Uh, seen them at uh, Target the other day, so I thought uh, picking up a couple more. Uh, let's see, we'll start with this one. Haven't got any for a little while, so a little withdrawal wanted me to go out and get some more. So let's start opening them, see what we got inside. I haven't seen any of the what are they called the mega boxes out yet. Those are a little bit more expensive, so I don't know if I'll ever get to those anytime soon. But just working on blasters so far, which is okay. I'll take that. These cards tend to be sticking to each other for some reason. I think that's my first Future Stars insert. Cool. Here's the first sepia of the pack. So far, nothing too big or crazy. Yeah, they actually had maybe seven. Seven packs of these on the shelf. I was going to pick in like the third and fourth ones in a row from the front. So hopefully he's giving me some good luck here. That second card's always sticking to the first, huh? Those packs. And first pink. I don't think that's a short print. For some reason, it looked like it might have been a short print, but I don't think it is. No. I don't think there is one of Manny Machado, but it almost looked like it might have been for some reason. Different design that I remember seeing before. Okay, done the three packs of this first box. Second card's always sticking for some reason. And another sepia, last time Austin Meadows.
And last pack. Oh, look at that. Not a big name hit, but it is an autograph, so I'll take it, and it's on card. Ha Seong Kim, and it's a purple speckle, out of $2.99. Very nice. That's well, definitely a good box to hit. Not the biggest rookie. I guess not a rookie, a second year player, I think, now, because I think last time I was rookie year. Um, not the biggest name to hit. Yeah, second year player. Um, but hey, I'll take it. Autograph, purple speckle, two ninety nine. Nice. And the last pink, last card. Nice. Yeah, good box overall. With that. And on to the second one. Up the first pack here, the second box. Let's see if we can top that autograph card. That ends up being the best hit of the two boxes. I'll take it. That's now my fourth autograph ever. And the third since I've been doing opening Topps Baseball. So it seems to be a much better product to open up than Donruss products ever has been. Though, arguably, R.J. Barrett, uh, Orange Parallel, uh, Rookie card might be, might be the most valued card of them all. We've got another future stars insert. I think that looks pretty cool actually. And for Sepia, this box. That's actually the first numbered autograph that I actually pulled. Because RJ Barrett was sticker autograph. I am not numbered, and the Luke Williams was on card, 87 style, tops card, that was autographed, not numbered, and the Zach Lother, which I think was just in the last video, um, chrome, um, autograph on, on, can't talk, on the card, autograph, but no auto, or uh, no, uh, <laughs> not numbered. Oh, that second card is always sticking. Jerry Durian. Rodolfo Castro. the first prism refractor and Jose Altuve pink
There's a refractor. I don't remember getting any refractors in the last box, but maybe I just missed it. It's hard to tell with the sliding that I have going on. And the last few packs here. Yeah, despite all the talk about lack of short prints, other than in the hobby lights, you know, even pulling an autograph, I would still take that over nothing. So I don't know why people are making a big deal. There's a sepia. <clears throat> At least autographs better than nothing, right? So I'd be still buying up all the boxes. A little, a little on the pricey side, but it may end up being well worth it someday. Got that little smudge on there. Maybe it's just like a dirt patch. It didn't get chromed up. And last pack. Let's see if we can get that last pack mojo, as they say. Add that on the last last box. A lot of cards are sticking here. Are two of them sticking. The top three were all stuck to each other for a little bit. Ooh. And no, it doesn't seem to be anything, anything too special here. Our last one card here is a pink Zach Grink. It's okay. Cool. Not a terrible box, but you know, not the greatest on the last one. The hits, of course, was Ha Seong Kim, purple spec out of 299 autograph. Fourth ever autograph card, and like I said, third and the tops uh, cards. One base and now two chrome autographs. So, yep, that'll do it. So, cool. Glad I got these cards. I'll have to try to get some more in the future when I can afford them again. But, if you like what you saw, give a thumbs like, subscribe if you're new, and hit that bell down below. Join the Wild Six family. And we will see you all later. Bye. Later, y'all. Peace. See you next time!